back to the designation. So today's video is going to be an unboxing and a slight review of the iPhone XR. This video is going to give me a chance and you all a chance to see if this should be my new vlogging camera. I travel and I go all over the place and I want to know if I should carry my big hunking DSLR or if this will suffice. So right away I tore off the packaging of my new iPhone and just got straight in. I got the blue iPhone XR and it is super pretty. I love blue and purple but blue was the only option that I really fell in love with but the other colors were super super nice. I feel like the vibrancy of the colors really pops and stands out. Inside my packaging I also got my headphone charging plug that you plug into the wall as well as the cord. The only thing that really throws me off about this phone is the fact that you have to use the specific cord that goes for your headphones and your charger. I feel like they're trying to get rid of the headphone port jack and they did just that. There's no headphone jack on this phone so you have to use the headphones that are provided or go wireless. But overall so far so good. Unboxing was very easy, really fun and I also got an iPhone issued case from the Apple Store and this is an OtterBox case, it's clear and I really really like it. But I also like that it mutes the phone color just a little bit so I really wanted to test out the camera on this. Again I want to see if this is going to be my new vlogging camera and I went on a rooftop at night just to see what I could capture. I feel like because I'm outside, it's really hard to hear. Hopefully the microphone is picking up okay, but I'll be able to hear all of that with the wind, the music, the traffic, all of that stuff and also see how this stabilizes. So this is not only a review for you guys, it's a review for me. So I wanna see how this works and if I'm able to get the shots that I want. I would say for low light videography, it's doing okay. I mean, it looks good, but it doesn't look great. The video was okay. It wasn't spectacular. However, I know I was a little far away, so I'm not going to knock the phone and the quality too much. You guys let me know what you think about it in the comments down below, but for what it is, it's really, really good. So I took this camera for a spin during the day as well so I could see how it compares to the nighttime videography features with the camera and the daytime videography features with the camera as well. And of course, I've been taking pictures. Right now for video, I'm loving the front-facing camera. I think that it does a really, really, really good job. But what I'll do over the next couple of months is I'll vlog with this camera. And if I do, I'll make sure to put it down in the description below of the videos so that you can know what camera I'm using if I'm switching back and forth and I'll answer any questions you guys have as I use this device moving forward because I know that a lot of you out there are also vloggers and are interested to know if you should shell out money for the iPhone XR or go even higher for the iPhone XS or X Max. I was really contemplating getting the XS, which is the next one up from the XR. Um, but I think when all was said and done, my cart was to about 1,400 and something dollars with Apple Care, um, and that did not include iCloud or any extra features, just the Apple Care and the phone and the case. And um, this one was pretty pricey as well. I'm not gonna lie, I think that phones nowadays are a little too pricey. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will answer them and I'll see you all in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, of course. Don't wanna forget that. Kick, hit, punch that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a future upload and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.